Tim Malia, European cycling champion. How proud the doper Frankie Vandenbroek must be looking down from the clouds or up from the fiery place to see his son-in-law conquer this title after a race which we can only describe as horrendous. One in which there were a few unsuccessful intermediate attacks from the very thin and scrawny son and grandson of dopers, Mr. Von der Poel. Well, they were the only thing that managed to amuse us. An absolutely shameful race. One in which, in the last 30 kilometers, there were only Danes, because there are always Danes, such as Kasper Asgren, who dared to try something different to avoid the inevitable peloton finish and a mass sprint. One which was absolutely uncontrolled, as indicated, for example, by the third place of the promising Estonian and budding racist Madis Mikkels. European bronze for a rider without victories throughout the year of 2024. This garbage makes up the championships proposed by Selfie Le Partion, falling just a week before the world championships. The brainchild of a guy more intent on taking a selfie with a 42-year-old cyclist from the Vatican to show that he's a conciliator. Really, we're simply talking about a publicity hoarder who wants to continue sitting on the well-upholstered couch, earning millions of euros and making powerful contacts around the world. Now, it's possible that many of you will think the same of these Spanish gravel championships, where a fresh-faced youngster named Pitti Valverde Belmonte, at a mere 44 years of age, almost took the win. He failed on the final climb against the Burgos rider José Manuel Díaz Gallejo, the personal friend of the Menatropin doctor Marcos Minar, and the former teammate of dopers such as Alberto Gallejo in the Grupo Deportivo Etremadura, or the one hunted down in possession of growth hormone vials, Andrea Piccolo in the hilarious Gazprom Rusvelo. Spain is always at the forefront of the show, something you can see here. Subscribe now to the channel and don't forget you can follow us on our personal Twitter account, at Uncle Cycling. Then you'll be aware of this and, well, all the other news too. And now let's get on to what really interests you. The Canadian spectacle from our much-admired Slovenian alien, Poggy. The favourite cyclist of the little ones in the house is the perfect attraction for cycling today. If you look at his results over the last three seasons, it's almost impossible to see him not winning a race. Something that happened on Friday at the Grand Prix Quebec. Despite his attacks on flat terrain, he was still chased down by a large peloton and he didn't have the option of victory. Gosh, no wonder that Urska Zigat's boyfriend insists that he still has points to improve upon if he wants to be a total cyclist. And worst of all, I think that his close friend, Selfie Le Partion, will allow him to win on all types of terrain. Of course, in the Grand Prix Montreal, it was much harder course with the classic circuit of two hard climbs through the streets of the cosmopolitan Canadian city. And so the Sonier Duval team rider uncorked his pot of essences. With 23 kilometers to go, he launched his now classic thermonuclear attack. And as almost always, no one could follow him. From then on, he took advantage of his great virtue as a cyclist. His ability to ride on the flat like the best of the rulers, gradually pulling out more and more of a gap on his rivals. And if, in addition, these rivals essentially boil down to two men who've hardly shone this season, such as Bill Bauer of Bahrain Victorious and the father of Marion Roussy's son. And in addition, there were people like Jan Izagiri, normally missing in action, without his classic back pain. No, the victory was insultingly simple for Poggy. He crossed the line, greeting his friend, Bling Matthews, near the finish, throwing kisses to the audience. No wonder they love and venerate him so much. Nothing to do with his victory in this same race in 2022 against the Belgian boss. No, this time it was, as the Slovenian himself would say, a mere training exercise for the World Championships in Zurich in seven days' time. At the finish, he made a keep calm gesture as if telling us that the best is yet to come. As if so far this histrionic campaign had been a mere starter. And, as almost always this year, there was Dracula Gianetti waiting for him at the finish line to congratulate him personally. 
It's the same story that we told you in Lombardy, in Liège, in Flanders and so many other one-day races where this monster is unrivaled. The data, it's absolutely devastating. The 2024 Sonier Duval team is only 12 victories behind the all-time record set by the telecom of Mark Cavendish and Andre Greipel in 2009. It makes them one of the most dangerous teams in the history of cycling. And Poggy is undoubtedly its main star and main supporter as such, because, most incredibly, his 22 victories this season have all been at World Tour level. Not village races where some of his teammates fatten their palmares to be amongst the top of the UCI rankings. This statistic is so shocking because it causes him alone to have more World Tour wins in 2024 than any other team in its entirety this season. Yes, while the Rabobank team of the Anchovy and the Bot and so many other stars has achieved 18 World Tour wins, the Slovenian alien alone has achieved four more. And no doubt the next one, barring something strange happening to him or the emergence of some unexpected exogenous monster, well, it's going to be the World Championships in Zurich. He had the unique opportunity to set a historical record of winning three Grand Tours in a single season, but instead Poggy has decided to imitate two great doped monsters of the past, such as the dinosaur Eddie in 1974 or the very dangerous Irishman Stephen Roach in 1987. He's shooting for the triple crown of cycling, the Giro d'Italia, the Tour de France and the World Road Race Championships. The alien has never been a world champion in any category or any discipline, and this year he wants to end that curse on a circuit whose characteristics suit him very well. He'll also come with an exceptionally dangerous team, one which includes Dropper Mohoric, with much better material than he's enjoyed this season at Bahrain. The Slovenian skier nicely relaxed after conquering his fourth Vuelta Espana, and his mascot rider Damen Novak, prepared meticulously by Javier Sola to be at the front of the pack and work for more than a hundred kilometers solo if necessary. Okay, the World Championships are complicated races. We also have to take into account the defending champion who's ready to climb mountains now with 70 kilos or less of body weight. Oh, and there's focus in Avonapool, who knows all the tricks of his close friend Poggy and who could be a contender in these championships with one of his classic attacks from far away. But we think that will surely fail. From our point of view, the most dangerous opponent that the Slovenian could have to face is the local, treated by Luigi, Mark Hirschi. Not only because he's suspected of many things, but rather because his form is spectacular. It's been at its peak for over a month and it's allowing him to win on all types of terrain. He's a rider we've been warning you about for a very long time on this channel. His main goal is the rainbow jersey. Now, the vast majority of you who are watching this video will want the Slovenian to win, as does his dear friend, Selfie Le Patio. And just in case he doesn't win, he's prepared an insurance policy, a world championship for the future in Montreal, so that he can do again what he did yesterday. But we'll be telling you all about this in the future on this channel. Meanwhile, let us know in the comments, of course, who you think will win that precious rainbow jersey. I'll read them all, you know. And when you've done that, stop by the video on the screen. You'll love it.